Hello YouTube, today we're doing a video on our uh, 6x12 enclosed trailer, our new trailer that we just got. I'll go ahead and turn around and show you guys. So this is a new trailer that we got and today we're actually going to do a video on how to install shelving in the front of the trailer like we did to our other trailer. Um, so we got the GoPro, which we'll be able to do like first person uh, video on how to kind of go over a thing how we did it before. Uh, just to start out, I'm not a carpenter, I just know how to do all the basic stuff. Uh, so if I do something wrong, uh, I guess, oh well. And uh, if you guys know any other tricks that you can use in your trailer, go ahead. This is just the basic stuff to just kind of help you out. But we're going to go ahead and get started on it. And uh, so go ahead and stay tuned. Thank you very much. So first we're going to go ahead and get started on where we want to build our shelving. Um, so as you can tell, the camera, my head pretty much touches the ceiling. So it's a little different than uh, my other one that I have. But uh, pretty much what we want to try to figure out is where the main studs are in the wall right here. Uh, where they are in the back of course too. And you can pretty much just kind of tell where some of the bolts are throughout. But as you can see here, we got um, kind of our wiring harness right here. So of course we can't block that. So we're going to want to build a shelf right underneath that. I'm going to build a top shelf. So I'm going to have to move this guy, which shouldn't be too hard. Yep, that was, oh, I think I just, yeah, something's jiggling in there. Um, so pretty much I'm going to build two shelves just like what we did before. We're going to have the top shelf for all of our small handheld tools and just small uh, tubs. And then our bottom one for kind of our main stuff, all of our main tools and everything like that. Uh, so first we're going to go ahead and get some measurements. Uh, make sure that, like I said, you want to build the shelves at the right height and see what works for you. So go ahead and see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on our two by fours. Um, we already got some pre-cut ones over here and they're already all painted. This came off our, our dump truck right here uh, when we built our walls for this. Right there, what we're trying to figure out with these is how much of a two by four we want going through here. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and measure this. And we got less than a foot, so we'll go about 11 and 3 quarter inches. And we'll go ahead and cut that. Um, so we'll go ahead and do two of those, 11 and 3 quarter inches. Alright, so now we got our two pieces cut. So with those cut, like I said, go ahead and make sure that these are actually going to fit and work. So we got our line right there. And yeah, looks like we're perfect. Alright guys, so I got some two and a half inch screws. So what I'm going to do just to make sure. Um, so I got my screw all the way into my 2 by 4 as you can see. Right there, hopefully. So we're, you know, measure that. We only got an inch, uh, less than an inch sticking out. And another thing you can do is just kind of come up right here. And we are way inside the inch line, so we are good to go with two and a half inch screws. And each trailer is different, so of course don't go by these measurements. You can't go by these measurements, of course. I'm just showing you how I do it um, and how it can get done. So we're going to go ahead and pre-drill our screws in. That way it makes it a lot easier for us to, uh, to install this in the wall. All right, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and make sure this is all leveled. All right, so we're gonna get our leadable. I only have the big guy right now. If you got a small one, it's probably gonna work a lot better, but this one's doing pretty good. Make sure that we're level, and we're just gonna go a tad more, so it looks like we're good right there. Put a little pressure on these guys since they have more to go through. Let's check make sure our screws aren't going through and it looks like we're really good nothing on the other side so so it seems like uh if you're going to use two by fours um two and a half inch screws seem to do pretty well so so we got our first one in All 
All right, so now we got our two side braces on. There we go, slowly coming together. What we're gonna do first, is we're gonna go ahead and get our measurements for how long. We need to cut our two by fours and it looks like we got about 69 inches. That's probably what we're gonna about to do. We might have to go a little bit shorter just cause we got these little pieces of wood right here. But we'll get that figured out. So we're gonna use our, our new guys. We're gonna go 69 inches. All right, so let's just go ahead and make sure that these are gonna work. Uh, most likely these are, you're gonna have to, and that's probably what you're, you're looking at. Go ahead and see, yeah, here we go. All right, now just to make sure before we go ahead and screw that in, we're gonna level this out. So it looks like we're all good to go. Now, we did have those pre-existing holes. There's a chance that they may not match up. I'm hoping that they do, so I guess we'll find out, so. Yeah, looks like we're good to go, guys. Now, probably could have done this before, now we're gonna do a support bar. Luckily, uh, on our other one, I think we did three. We did one, two, three. For this one, since we're not gonna have a lot of weight on it, we're just gonna go right one, right down the middle. All right, guys, so now we got our top shelf in right here. Uh, <clears throat> so far. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and work on uh, the top plywood that goes on top of this. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, but hopefully I found an easy way for everyone to be able to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to get prepped for the piece of plywood. Go ahead and grab that. All right. Make sure that we're all even on. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And this is how we did it last time. It was... All right, so first we got about 69 inches. So we're gonna go 69 inches, so this is what we did. So we're gonna go 69 inches right here. All right, now with that, we gotta go look at our depth. So we're gonna go to your center, measure your center and see where you're at. So we're about 22 inches, we can go a little bit over, so I'm just gonna round up to 22 inches since we're gonna cut it a little bit in. So, next, find our middle, which is 34 and a half. Now we're gonna go 22 inches out. So, there's our lucky number. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. So, since we have a round edge right up top instead of square, um, what you have to do, this is what I did, you gotta measure each section. And so say this is 22, we go right here. Now we got 21, we go right here. Now we got 20, up to right here. Usually is when I cut an angle right here because I don't like it up against that. So what you do is you pretty much find these points. So one, two, three, four. And then what you do, you go from your center, you go one, two, three, four. Then you draw your angle line, line up with this one. And then that way it's just square. It doesn't have to be completely rounded. You're not gonna get that, especially with the saw that I have. So it's gonna kinda go like this at an angle. And of course, the, the bigger the space is, if you went from right here to the middle to the end, 
then you're going to have more of an angle. But the little bit that you do, you can almost have it so it's right up against that. I have a little bit of space on my other one, and that's why if I start getting a lot of dirt and stuff up here, I can just kind of, because since we're going to have our faceplate right here, I can just push all the dust and stuff like that down on the edge and sweep it up from the bottom. All right, guys. So in order to find out what's this, you know, uh, how much do we have to cut on the back since we're on a round edge, uh, what we can do is we're going to go by kind of points. Oops. This. Oh, all coming on there. So hold that right there. So I'm gonna go by every six inches. So we're gonna go six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. And then we got our middle guy right there. So first one. First one we're gonna go. And it looks like we're about same twenty-two. So that's okay. So we're just going to write 22 right there. Go to our next one. Now we're at about 20, 21 and a half. Go to our next point. We're about 21 right there. And we're going to go to our next point. So now we're at about 20 and a quarter. 20, and we're just going to do like a little quarter. And then right here, we're at about 19. Okay. And then of course, we want to end it right here. So we're going to end it at 18 and 3 quarters. Because yeah, that's what we're looking at about right there. So that's what we have. And we want to stop it about 3 and a half inches in. So we're going to stop it at about 3 and a half. Whatever that looks like. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and line it up right here. And then we're get this one, we're gonna go 22. All right, so there we go. Now, this is where, now that you did all the hard measuring. Now, like I said, you can either do a curve, but with the tool that I have, it makes it a little harder. So next, we're gonna go our center, line up with our last one. And like I said, this is gonna be at an angle. So what we can possibly do, yeah, let's just do this for right now. So we're just gonna kinda of connect the dots. All right, now that we got <laughs> all the measuring figured out, now we just gotta make sure what we're gonna cut is not gonna interfere with our uh, seahorses are right here, or sawhorses, not seahorses, sorry guys. Kinda off it today, so we're gonna go ahead and get started cutting. There we go. There's our top shelf. Like I said, you're not gonna, looks like we cut a little bit on the inside. I think I cut the long, run, long uh, line. So you see this one goes perfectly all the way to the back, but this one, uh, we got a little bit of excess, but that's okay. Um, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, that way it's easier to kinda shovel it. And then that way, if we need to get to the wiring at all, if we need to run some wiring, we're all good to go. So. Here's our first shelf, guys. All right, guys, so now that we got the shelf in, we're gonna go ahead and start screwing it down. All 
All right, guys, I'm about ready to finish up the, uh, the shoving here, just putting the final spray paint touch. I uh, didn't have some wood to do the face paint, so I had to use some used wood around here, and uh, it's old fence paneling, but uh, luckily it still looks good, especially when you spray paint it. And uh, so that's what we're going to do, just kind of clean the face up of this a little bit. Um, and if you want to, which I'll probably wind up doing, you can go ahead and spray paint all the top of this. It just kind of makes it look a little bit fresher. I like it all. It all goes together and everything. Um, you don't have to get too detailed with it, but something I like to do. When spray painting, make sure you got some good ventilation. You got the back door open, which is what we do. We got these two doors. Get some uh, airflow kind of going through here, <laughs> so that you're not breathing in all the all the paint fumes. And of course, I'm just doing a fast paint job on this. You can, I taped off a little bit, like right here on the edges so it doesn't get too much out. But if you're not worried about it, like I said, all of this is gonna get blocked off anyways. So you can't really see it. If you're not too worried about it, then just do a light paint job. Kind of like what I'm doing, just something to clean it up under here. I don't know if you can see all you can see all those fumes right there. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. So, so like I said, be very careful Whoop, when doing this. <coughs> oh. Looks like we got a little bit of touching up paint to do here. Just got this trailer yesterday, so it needs to be a little bit of touching up. Uh, we'll get some cores to that. But anyways, that's the that's the shelves right there. <clears throat> pretty easy once you <clears throat> once you get the bottom one uh, I recommend doing the bottom one first and then getting the top the reason why <clears throat> it's a lot easier once you get the bottom in it's a lot easier to you can set your tools and your and uh, and all your nails and stuff on there so that you can work on the one up top <clears throat> now like I said this is see I just used some quick tape right here and helped a little bit mostly it's just right here but a lot of this is going to be repainted anyways like I said I just got this so there's a lot of touching up you can see like right here all of this is starting to kind of peel off a lot of moisture in here and so this all needs to be repainted as you can tell that's kind of all nasty so but uh that needs to be fixed too <laughs> but anyways there's the shelves right there so it's just like what we have in the other trailer uh very simple to set up um very easy uh, to kind of just go over the materials that you need. All you need is a sheet of plywood. Uh, your ply, depending on how big your trailer is, um, you're possibly going to need two, maybe three sheets of plywood. With this one, we only need a one, one, and uh, possibly two just to do these faces. But otherwise, you would have just used a whole piece, you know, a couple pieces just for that. But this stuff, the particle board is only like nine dollars a sheet, so it's not bad. Uh, a couple two by four posts. Um, you need about four to go a long ways and then it depends on how many cross members you're going um, we got the eight foot ones and as you see we have leftovers so those could have been used for all of the cross members that we did but luckily we had a lot of leftover stuff so uh, just two by fours you got to get the right screws like I said every trailer is different but for this one right here in order to go through a two by four and just enough to go into the wall where it's not gonna pop outside uh, two and a half inch screws work very well. We use about inch screws just to hold the face plates all the, and the top, top boards. You screw those into the two by fours. Uh, only use like uh, one inch. So I hope this worked out for you guys. I wanted to do some good videos on how we installed uh, the shelving from the beginning. And since we did that, next we're going to um, show you how we install the racks on the side for the weed whackers and for all of our other stuff. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching.